another story. They still on Killer Mike as hit piece. They've been on his <laughs> ass. They got him definitely after he won the Grammy. Oh, hold on. They've been on even more. One more thought regarding Diddy. Everybody, all genders is basically saying Diddy didn't weird. Folks is defending him. Diddy did it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I believe he 100% did it. Everything she accused him of, for the most part, I believe he did it. I think the circumstances are a little bit uh, different from how they happened, but I think he did do it. Because I think that's just how the industry said, worked. Is Those this people. the daughter that got a child with that deranged rapper? Yes, it is. Well, you you brought up that daughter. He got other daughters. I thought you were talking about that daughter, the one with uh, NBA Youngboy, or the kid with NBA Youngboy. But other than that, I mean, I don't think she's an unattractive young lady. I mean, <laughs> damn. Anyway, Killer Mike is deadly for the black community. They're saying he's a danger <laughs> to the black community. He's a threat. You see that honorable? They're calling the black men a threat to his community for wanting to look at other options for his community to vote for, possibly. You know, they, you know how bad they're talking about him for going to visit uh, Kemp? Oh, my God. Camp. They are really, really. The, the person that wrote this hit piece on him, her name is Kayla uh, Janae. Kayla Janae Kayla, Lacey. Mm -hmm. He was very disgruntled. <laughs> very disgruntled. <laughs> so they really hold him accountable for the loss of uh, Stacey Abrams. Go ahead. They discussed their case. So I, did, I didn't know he was talking about another child. I think he just said his daughter. I think he got multiple daughters. So, yeah. But Kayla, but, uh, they really blame him for the Stacey Abrams law still. It's that after accepting his third Grammy on a night three weeks ago and claiming he did it for Atlanta, I'm sure Cop City is considered to be just his, that jurisdiction. Rapper Killer Mike was later let off in handcuffs after a backstage scrimmage on arguably the, the biggest uh, night of his career. But I mean, really, what's a rapper without some street cred? Am I right? On a recent appearance on a daytime talk show, the view Mike Render talks about the night as well as his mission as a black man from Atlanta who is self-ordained messenger for his community. Let me play the clip. So we heard you say in the clip you were accepting your third award of the evening. We kind of just mentioned that, but you're never too old. No, it's never too old nor too late. What was on your mind when you said that for people to hear? I mean, it was a, at first I was just, let me give you the day. I, I'm a car guy, so I, I woke up to, to a $80,000 Regal, to my favorite car, Grand National. Oh. It was built by uh, Ron Bard of Atlanta and Mike Musto and Soupy. So I wake up to this beautiful, this beautiful woman. I wake up to my wife. <laughs> then then I, I'm excited about this beautiful car. Then I get this beautiful chain from my jeweler. I mean, what bracelet shots out the stacks. And everything is, everything is amazing. And then I hear my name called the first time, and I'm appreciative. Then I hear it's called the second time. They tell me I'm about to walk this in on I was like, I'm about to get another one. And I know, okay, I got two. And when I got the second one, I knew the third one was coming. And the third one was the one I really wanted. It was rap album of the year. Wow. Yeah, and um, I, I was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed. Well, in the biggest moment of his career, and we know he probably has some ties to certain fraternities and organizations. Uh, oh, he boule. Uh, um, he, go ahead. Go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, uh, that was part one of his three-step initiation. I think he's talking about Killer Mike, mm -hmm. Eastwood, uh, Stacey Ben, afraid to speak on black issues in Atlanta, lost her job. Next, more <laughs> liberal spell work over the minds of the new Negro, which is a terrible thing to waste regardless of party affiliation. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, I'm going to show you more. <laughs> Did you see this video right here? <laughs> I didn't see it. I wanted to wait. And this is that. another uh, person that's speaking down on us. Oh, you know why? Because he, he, he associated himself with Governor Kemp. Mm -hmm. Surface clip. For Michael Santiago, oh, rendered shit. known to the world as Killer Mike, <laughs> listens intently to the dreams of a <laughs> wonderful child. Ask a beautiful child his dreams. Look oh, at shit. this. I'm trying to find a cure for cancer. And yeah, hey. I'm going to be, I'm going to make a rocket gotcha. that can into the sun. What do you what do you want to do, Hero? A president, and I will make um. You want to be a president? Yes, please. I forgot to tell you, I'm going to be a scientist. Remember? Yes. And I'm going to make this potion that will make my whole family superheroes. You owe your parents not to dream big. You know, you owe owe it to your parents to dream practical and start making money as soon as you can. Like, you're not going to be able to be president. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know what a carpenter is? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> oh, he's speaking. He's speaking of Big Mama House too. Little Timmy is not going to uh, college. He's eating fucking brittle pads. <laughs> this three-time Grammy winner is being legitimized um, 
and rolled out all around black America in regards to politics because he once supported Bernie Sanders. Somehow that has given him the ability to speak as an authority on black people. Are we going to continue? Now they're using this clip as a as saying that he was, I, go ahead. I'm sorry, they're using this clip as a as a way to say that he was talking down on the young black male speaking on his He wasn't on his dream. I think he was speaking to the room, but he simply used the presidential but that's the only realistic answer that any of them said. All the rest of them were talking about going Scientist. to the sun and and curing cancer. Mm -hmm. He said I want to be president. He said he was sent to the room. I think you guys should dream practical instead of dreaming. Like get a trade, get yeah. a skill. So I don't but they're definitely using this to Because in this era, that's what you need to have to survive is a skill, a trade. They definitely use that to whoop on them a little bit. But this is not new because just last year, they wrote this article in the Huffington Post, or the Huff Post, should I say. It says this rapper is more politically dangerous. They can hear. Good. We don't do it every day. I don't even man. know if they even heard that <laughs> better. Did y'all hear anything we said about uh, no. Killer Mike at all? It's better. Okay, I can hear. Ah, Lord. Hey, we should be good now. All right. We're going to move on. We heard you laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all been doing one. with the monies? We ain't been doing shit for money because we ain't got no damn money off this shit. Yeah, Only man. the first part. Yeah, the, the video. So y'all didn't hear nothing Travis children. said about Killer Mike and why he said nope. Why they people mad at him? <laughs> That's crazy. It man. Always, <laughs> every time it'd be me. Please say it again. Nope, I'm not point. saying shit because God is trying to tell you. <laughs> trying to tell me something. I'm gonna be quiet. Please say it again. No, I ain't saying people. it again. It won't Can you meant surmise to be? it a little bit? It won't meant to be. <laughs> he it was talking about be. the child support <laughs> <laughs> that uh, Killer Mike was trying to uh, get rid of. There was a black woman that was fucking with the connection because I started talking about child support. That's what that was. <laughs> they didn't like it. <laughs> wow. They didn't hear nothing he said about mm. child support. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go ahead and move forward. Then. <laughs>